Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so just wanted to yeah um, start by saying I think I've seen all your uh, um, topics. Is anyone in class and you've not yet um, listed down your topic? If there's anyone, I just want to request you to do that. I see some topics which uh, still need to be refined, right? I think Rebecca is not in class, but uh, Rebecca's topic. Um, Subhashish, you can still, uh, if Subhashish is there, Subhashish, um, you can still reword it. Reword your, OK, Subhashish is not there. Um, maybe Subhashish, if you watch this video, uh, you will have to reword your topic. So Rebecca also will have to reword your topic. Um, OK. Um, um, and then who else? Success also. Um, success, we just need. Uh, yes, Lubega, go ahead, please. Um, I, I really don't know if you're mentioning me or you're mentioning another name, Pastor. Rubega. No, I was not. <laughs> no, no, no. I was uh, talking about Subashish. No, there is another name you're mentioning. Rubika something. No, or... Rubika. Rubika okay. Mahato. That's, uh, yeah. So she is, uh, um, Rubika has uh, mentioned spiritual test as a research topic. Um, yeah. So we just need to reword that and the scope of that, etc. So that needs to change. Um, and also success. Biblical examination of factors responsible for divisions in the churches. Um, so I'm not sure if success is here. Yeah, success, you're there. Um, so we, you might have to reword it a little bit. Okay, so because when you're saying uh, factors responsible for divisions in the churches, are you talking about the church in your in your town, village, city, or are you talking about you know the global churches? Because your research means that you have to find out <clears throat> about different churches that had divisions. Um, and then you have to find out. So yeah, um, you have your hand up. So you, would you like to say something? Yeah. Good morning, my pastor. Good morning, my lecturer. I'm so grateful. Good morning. For you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I the research base, I use uh, one of the states in Nigeria as a case study. Yeah, and, uh, I I use the north part of Nigeria because uh, there are a lot of a division in that in that state based on mm. region countries. Okay, happening. so okay. I cut it down to the states because if I'm talking about global, I've mm. not really moved the global, so I wouldn't use the where I don't know for yep. that uh, for the case study. So right. that is why my local state, one of the states in the north, and you know in Nigeria, if you go in three of the north. The insurgents in the north and the the, mm -hmm. uh, the crisis in that place, as well, most especially in Niger states. So mm -hmm. I use as a case study. I've already finished right. your so, research. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, um, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt. So so which means that you need to reword the research topic, saying that biblical examination of factors responsible for divisions in the churches of, you know, uh, whatever geographical location that you're talking about uh, that yes. maybe the towns in Nigeria or you know with any specific town in Nigeria that you're thinking of um, so so you need to uh, do it that way Re reword it that way so that um, yeah so that it'll be uh, you know there will be relevance to the topic and the research so the okay, research I, topic I, okay so I should reconstruct the topic Sorry, you, you know you can you can just reword it. You can go to that same Excel uh, sheet. Uh, one second, uh, let me just uh, um, let me just project that, share that screen. Okay, so we have this right here. All right, so this you need to change. You need to reword it. Okay, and uh, I'll just explain in a bit why I'm. You know, kind of reiterating again, over and over again, uh, why your research title or research topic needs to be accurate. Okay, and there's okay. a reason for that, right? Okay, because the, uh, your research topic 
and the actual work of research that you do and what you actually produce in your report, it has to be consistent. It has consistent meaning, it has to be the same. Like there can't be any difference from the title to the actual work and the report. So that's the reason uh, why I'm, you know, why I keep insisting. Like, uh, you know, for example, a, a title like spiritual test. Now that's very vague, and uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about the kind of research, uh, so on. So that is why I've been telling, you know, that we need to refine the title and it has to be as descriptive as it, it, of course it needs to be brief but it needs to include all the information about what you're actually going to do in terms of the research right so that's the thing okay so i hope you got that right no, I, I, i'm not yet clear sir uh what i'm saying is that um am i going to consult the topic no, you don't have to. You don't. No, no. This topic is fine, so you don't have to strike off the topic, but you need to reword it, right? Which means okay. you need to add where you're doing going to do the research. Uh, you know, maybe mention the. You said north of Nigeria and some territory. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, in which church is I going to the do the research? So that is. Uh, yeah, the church in which place are you going to do the research on? So you need to mention that. Yeah, it's it's on the full uh, it's on the full uh, uh, research uh, the work, paperwork already. I put the name of the location and the paperwork. Maybe I should send it to your email so I can go through it. Uh, that's that's okay. You don't have to email it to me. You you start the work, but you know, like I showed you that screen, the title has to be different that is all that i'm okay. saying okay okay so, uh, let me just it. yeah okay i'll perfect it the location on the topic mm. you add okay. yeah you add that uh, location as well okay okay, um, all right. okay very quickly uh, let me just um, share some of the marking criteria for the research paper uh, and the presentation that will help you okay um, for e-learning students i'll upload it uh, and you can check it out. Um, this also, I'll put it on the stream. Okay, can you see that? Okay, on the chat. Okay, so this is the rubric or the marking criteria for for the paper as well as the presentation. So the paper is for the report is for twenty seventy five marks, and the the actual presentation that you'll be doing. Um, for in on campus and in um, and uh, online students, you will do it real time, right? Um, so your marks marks for that is twenty five. So let me just go through each of these uh, um, categories. Okay, so your research paper has to have clear and error free written expression, right? In terms of language, grammar, whatever you check, it has to be clear. It has to be error free. Second one, see the title, the title, the scope the application and recommendation okay that is also something that we're going to mark on okay um, then the third one is research rigor which means how rigorous is the research how deep is the research and also the research report is it complying to the format you know, like we mentioned the mli format the uh, modern language association format is, is something that we're going to use that you will be using for the report so is it complying to that you know uh, for, for example it has some cer certain standards in which how uh, let's say a chart should be displayed and so on so is it complying to that okay then fourth one how original is your content and your contribution okay um, now here, I just want to mention something. You know, there's um, if the content uh, has plagiarism. You know, what is plagiarism? You you've copied someone else's report or some work that is on the net. Okay, you copy pasted that uh, on your paper. That is plagiarism. Okay, so which means uh, that cannot be. Uh, I cannot mark you for that. Right, so it cannot be plagiarism. Plagiarism also means that you. You know, you mentioned some somebody's report, or maybe it's a quote, or maybe it is a statistics that you've put in your report, but you have not cited 
uh, where it is from. Okay, uh, so you've you've not given credit to that source. Uh, maybe you took it from a magazine, uh, online magazine. Maybe you took it from you know some data, some statistics um, that you've taken online. You need to um, you know uh, give credit to the source, like saying, okay, this is from this source, and and also the MLA formats specifies how you need to do that right so so it needs to be original content uh, no copy paste from you know stuff that is there online um, so we can actually run through uh, there are a couple of plagiarism tools uh, that you know when we run that run the research paper upload the research paper it actually shows the content and what is the percentage of plagiarism and you know etc so it that will be one of the tests that you know your research paper will go through so uh, please do not copy paste content off the internet and put it there uh, you will not be marked for that right okay so or, what is the original content and what is your contribution um, you know what are the statistics uh, that you are presenting the tables bibliography everything Okay, so that's part of the report paper. For the presentation, um, okay, clarity. Sorry, uh, clarity of speech and expression. Okay, uh, originality in terms of thought and content. Again, um, what are the recommendations? You know that you're suggesting. What is what is based on your report? What is it that you're recommending? You know, uh, what is it that can be applied? You know, obviously, you know you are providing a solution. You are providing some findings, right? Uh, can it be applied in thought, in deed, and in, in in behavior change? You know, um, and what are what are the solutions that you are recommending? Okay, so if it's a problem and you are recommending a solution, what is it? You know, how original is that? Then also um, audio video clarity. Okay, so just make sure that what you're saying, you're in an environment which is um, conducive. Any online presentation tools that you're using, you know, maybe a PowerPoint, and there's marking for that. And also on time conclusion. Okay, so are you concluding on time or are you just dragging on beyond your um, thing? Um, also, okay, I think I've not pasted that well. Um, for Sorry, um, let me just put that again. OK, so um, on time conclusion of presentation, and the, and the la last one is question and answers. And this is for online and on-campus students only, right? So you're pr presenting, and then you might have one question. You might be asked one question. and to and your response to that you know is it clear is it convincing um, etc you know does it reveal a knowledge of your work the how involved you were in the research etc right um, so that's how we ended e learning of course since you're uploading a video it's only the first five criteria for the presentation right okay um, any any questions on this yeah um, Yeah, yeah, there is a time limit, and I think we've um, made that uh, clear. One second. Um, in the IRP guidelines, ten-minute PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so for in-person. It's in the yeah. It's point number six about the project presentation. So it's ten minutes, and for e-learning students, again, the video is a ten-minute video. Okay, so it's uh, yeah, it's it's a bit challenging to present the whole thing in ten minutes, but um, yeah, so that's that's the time duration for the presentation, right? Okay. Uh, any any other questions? Yeah, Divya. So. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, wanted to ask regarding like if you are making uh, quotations by people or um, things like that, as you mentioned, like we yeah. need to give a reference. So in such cases, uh, 
we just need to like uh, this person has quoted this way that we can just say that right or is it necessary to say like in in an interview or like all the context of it um yeah i mean if it uh, if you have that information you can just you can post it right let's say uh, uh, you know if they have written it in a book the quotation is from a book it's it's best to uh, put that source um or if the usually it's um, you know it's maybe something they've written something they've given in a you know spoken uh, given a speech or something uh, and mostly this information is available so you can you know you can quote the source mention the source it's best sure sure pastor thank you and also regarding like some um uh, like terms that are uh, you know generally defined for example mm. in my topic like uh, when i'm trying to like my topic is regarding ai so yeah. if I, when i'm trying to define ai and the uh, types or categories like those definitions will be like uh, somewhat you know common right so should i be uh, saying like where i got those information from so that definition of ai would be a standard definition and uh, you you you're going to be referring to some source right um uh, yeah like yeah it's a widely accepted definition so in such cases yeah. do we need to um, yeah yeah it's it's best to mention like let's say you know uh, certain words if you're describing using a like a webster's dictionary online webster's dictionary or something you can you can just mention that this was taken from you know uh, all definitions were taken from this uh, as a footnote so you can mention that okay. um yeah so wherever where you yeah, where you're quoting a source um you're taking information from a source um the good research practice is that you mention that give credit to that source okay yeah yeah okay so should it be uh, mentioned like at the end like a, a, a like a bibliography kind of or uh... yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah. Okay. okay yeah sure yeah. Yeah. thank you thank you yeah sure. that would that would be best in fact otherwise it would be very painful you know each and everything you can do that as a footnote um, but uh, as a bibliography if you can mention it that will be best yeah thank you thank you first yeah okay uh like for example uh, let me just share this um um okay since you mentioned ai i was just uh, you know checking okay so it says uh, you know there are many many places where we can get that but then let's say you you want to use this tech target uh you know target.com and you want to use this then you mention that that's it it's as simple as that yeah okay um yeah okay fine yeah thank you thank you okay great okay yeah uh, one more question yeah sure yeah. Hi, i just want to ask that is there a possibility to have like examples for this this the first time on the thing is this will be really useful also Okay. Yeah, so the, I'll, I'll definitely share the format, the template, template for the report, so you can use that. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So um, again, uh, very interesting topics. Uh, I've seen a wide range of topics, and uh, I'm sure it'll be uh, good. Um, it'll be a good exercise. Yeah. Um, su success. Yes. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, can the topic be changed? You want to change the topic? Can I yeah. change the topic? Yeah. Yeah, but I, you need to do it soon, because by the end of February, if you if you if you look at uh, the thing, you need to give a summary of um, the work done so far. You know, Feb twenty ninth. Um, okay, uh, should I send a summary to your email, or I should post it there? Uh, no, no. I what what I will do is I'll I'll create a 
uh, a classwork here, assignment here. So you can just upload it, right? Okay. So um, yeah, so let me just uh, gonna quickly share that with you so that uh, we all know we are on the same page about the, um, just one second, please. OK. Right, so this is where we are. Um, so topic approved by faculty, and uh, there's a one, you know, there's a draft of the paper, um, which is to be submitted on or before 9 a.m. Thursday, 29th of February. So the current status of work, right? So, so um, if you if you want to change it, please do change it, and uh, maybe you can put. Uh, you can just put the uh, you know the change to topic in the Excel sheet, and I will check it in the yeah uh, the Google sheet. Sorry, and I will check it. So that's not a problem. You don't have to email it or uh, send it anywhere. Um, yeah, I, I suggest that you we do it quickly because uh, you need to yeah start on the work, right? Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Also. Okay. So has anyone started work on what they're doing and you want to share um, what exactly you're doing? Yes, uh, Lubega? Excuse me, sir. As if you sent me a message and I did reply to you, but uh, I've not got any feedback. So I'm there. Now I'm in interstate. I've not yet started. I don't know what I'm doing now um uh, you sent me an email did you no where you really asked the question it is on the chat but on the private comment side where you really also replied me i see okay 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 um okay i'll i'll okay i'll reply to it after the class i'll go through that i'm just trying to see where it is um sure i'll Okay, it's on the private chat. Success. Okay, um, I I'll do that after the class, Lubega. Yeah, immediately after the class. So, yeah. Um, okay, and so Rosalind, you start on the Word doc and then upload it. Where? Yeah. So, so I'll I'll create an assignment uh, closer to the date, Feb 29th, and then you can upload. Um, Upload it over there. Yeah, you can upload a Word doc. That's fine, or a PDF, whatever. It's, it's just a summary of. Okay, uh, it's just a uh, you know a status update. Okay, this is the work that I've done. This is the research that I've done. These are the readings that I've done. This is the information that I've collected. These are the questionnaires that I've sent out. Uh, these are the interviews that I've done. Whatever you know. So that's about it, right? Okay, and those of you who are. Uh, going to uh, send out questionnaires. I suggest that you start working on it. Right. Um, okay, Divya's question is should it be in the MLA format? Not necessary because it's just a status update. So it need not be in the MLA format. The status update, which needs to be uh, you know put up on the 29th, need not be in the MLA format, right? Okay. So yeah, so questioners, um, okay, you have sent out questioners a little early, okay. Yes, sir. Um, yes. Sir, okay. I yeah. have also I have also sent the draft paper of research topic on your email ID. Yeah. So uh, we were just talking about it, uh, uh, Ruby, Rubika. So your topic, research yeah. topic, needs to be changed. Changed yes. in the sense. You need to reword it. You know uh, um, what you put in the Google Sheet, what you uploaded in the Google Sheet is a spiritual test, yes. right? So, um, yes, and in the description it says, "I will look. I would like to do this research to explore the life of three servants of God in the Bible. They are spiritual test which brings spiritual growth and promotion in Christ. First of all." Uh, yes, first sir. of all, the title needs to change. Okay, yes, uh, needs to be reworded. Uh, so, 
you know uh, you you work on it you think about it you need to reword it and what it has no it has to reflect the actual research work a study of something oh. starting like that you know i don't want to give out the answer <laughs> right mm -hmm. uh, a study of whatever you know so yeah, so, yeah. so um, you know and yeah so that's it right so uh, it, it can start like that also i just want to tell you that you know you're saying a study of three servants of god now this is a research paper okay unlike a class assignment where we can we could we could do a study a study of these people could be maybe a few chapters maybe a whole book right uh, in yeah. the bible and and you specifically said servants of god in the bible so uh, it needs to have the depth of research oh okay. yes sir Yes, yeah, yeah. you need to ensure that so it cannot be a very superficial study. It needs to have the depth of research, maybe I, I don't know other information, etc., uh, in order to you know qualify as a research paper. So that's I'm just saying um, right in the beginning itself, right? Um, so that's the thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, questioners. Okay, so um, Zalit, really questioners. Um, you know, please go through the um, the research. Um, the, uh, I'm sorry, the the textbook, right? The book that we gave for reading uh, on research, some basic research. Please go through go through that. That has a lot of information on how we can actually uh, frame a questionnaire, etc. You know, um, and it's it's very useful. So I don't know whether you know you used an open-ended questionnaire, like asking a question and people need to fill in the answer, or was it like uh, close-ended? You know, which means that you gave some options, saying, okay, um, you know, for example, um, a question could be like, okay, what is your age range, right? Uh, what is your age? And then it could be you can give some three or four options. Right, fifteen to twenty-five, twenty-five to thirty-five, thirty-five to forty-five, you know, things like that. So that's a, it's more of a close-ended question, right? Open-ended is, please enter your age, right? So now uh, there is value in both open-ended and close-ended, right? Open-ended will be more of a descriptive answer, and uh, yes, those those kind of answers also we need from. From the you know people, um, but also close-ended. Also, we need because when you put this information together, let's say you have fifty questionnaires, right? You've got respond responses from fifty questionnaires, and you're putting it together, and you're you know compiling it, saying, okay, question one, these were the responses. Question two, these were the responses. When you put piling compiling it together for the questionnaire to make sense, right? And analyze, you're saying, okay. Yeah, uh, you know, it needs to be close-ended, right? You can say, okay, these were the people uh, who were in this same this age range, or these were the people who had this kind of qualification, or they've been there for x number of years, y number of years, whatever. When you're putting it together, when you're compiling, then this close-ended responses will will help you. Then, of course, the open-ended uh, responses will also be, you know, it's more of a uh, what what do you say? Um, descriptive or, or quality, um, you know, responses. Um, so yeah. So I just want want us to you know those of you who are going to be. I see a lot of you know titles which will require questionnaires, right? So you need to make sure you know the, your questionnaire is drafted well, right? So otherwise, at the time of compilation, uh, it could be a problem, right? So yeah. Just wanted to share that. Um, Pastor. Yeah, John, is it? Yeah. Yeah, John. Uh, Pastor, so in the in the guidelines which are shared for our, our research paper, yeah. So they mentioned um, you know surveys to have twenty five to thirty number of questions. So um, we... I don't know pages, right? Questions, Pastor. The the guidelines. The the other. Uh, uh, this one document you shared, Pastor. Like, uh, 
the the IRP guideline, right? Timeline and all that. Uh, this one another research paper guidelines which you shared. In. Ah, so that is just a. Uh, I mean, that is uh, just for you to refer. You don't have to. You don't have to follow it. Okay, okay, yeah. So in that, it had mentioned twenty-five uh -huh. to thirty questions for a survey. Uh -huh. um, no, so no, 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 not really. So. Thinking about like practically uh -huh. also, like if we uh -huh. share like as a as a Google form to others. Mm -hmm. um, would that be a good number or we can have more because I tried frame questions it's coming about 36 mm -hmm. uh, down, uh, yeah, yeah go ahead you know don't be okay. restricted by that go ahead okay. yeah. so that was uh, you know that um, um, uh, I mean that document that PDF that right, concise yeah. guide to right, just uh, for you to uh, you know just to refer to it you know so, so these are some suggestions there so oh, sure. yeah uh, yeah, Pastor, once we uh, finalize on the questionnaires, would it be OK to share it in the stream page so that we can have a look? Yeah, yeah, we, we can even discuss in class. OK. So yeah, we can we can go through it. Uh, so it will be helpful for others also. We can do that, sure. Yeah, if um, if it, nobody else is remaining, then I'll maybe present. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Oh, so you can see oh. um not yet yeah it's coming up okay um so okay uh, can you just um, um, like make it bigger john okay, Sorry. Sure, sure. so um pastor so i've not all these are uh, close ended questions just that i've not mm. mentioned the options in this okay um, um, but all these are uh, all these will have uh, options. So um, mm. the people who are um, attending this questionnaire or the survey, they can yeah. choose one of the options. So we'll get a good clarity. Right. Okay. So I'm I'm just, I'm just going through some of the questions. How happy are you to be called as a minister's child? Um, okay. On a scale of one to ten, is it? Okay. Uh, very happy. Uh, you can even make it five, John. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I can change the first thought. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, that's one thing. So uh, rating. So it, they'll just go with the gut feel. Okay. Now, okay. Let's say if I'm a pastor's kid, I will just go with okay. Today I'm having a bad day, so you know uh, maybe I'll just say three or two or whatever. Um, but if you want to be a little more accurate, you can give like five options. Yes. Yes. Um, you know, something like that. Um, uh, uh, success I'll just come back to you. Uh, then have you ever been bullied because your parents? So that's a yes, no question, right? Yes. Um, yes, no response. Uh, and then there's a follow up question. Did you take it well? So um, so did you take it well? You can just think through, OK, how did you respond to it? And you can give some options. Yeah. Um, you know, I. I was ashamed. I did not share with anyone, or I became angry. You know, whatever you can think of. You know, yes. uh, those responses. So that'll be that'll give it uh, make it even more accurate. See, one is accuracy, but the other one is also we are curtailing the you know the freedom that is also there. Right. Right. In the sense, uh, let's say if if it's none of these options, you can either say you know none of the above and then ask them to you know. Enter in their comments. Yes. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Okay. So that is good. I think it's uh, pretty in depth questions. Family vacations. Um, you put the church over me. Okay. So maybe you can uh, kind of reword it or you force me to read the Bible, force me to read, come to church, um, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Nice. Uh, have you ever longed for one-on-one -on -one time? Okay. How frequently have you received personal affirmation? Okay. So, um, what age group, um, John? Uh, so, in the in the first section, we have categorized uh, according to the generations, the Gen C, Gen L, that uh, mm. that categorization. So, from um, so first category is age less than twenty-eight. Everyone okay. comes in one bucket and. 
Okay. According to that uh, power research on categorization of generations, mm. that's that's how we have. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. And I'm just wondering whether the language is too the thing for you know if it's a slightly younger kid, mm -hmm. uh, like personal affirmation, you know, um, okay. whether they'll understand it. So, but anyway, so you can choose that. Um, mm. Go further down, possibly. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You keep scrolling. I'll uh, currently I serving. Area of ministry. Okay, so one, may, once maybe uh, once you put in the options, you can yeah. even show that again. But this is um, a yeah, pretty in-depth, well thought thought through uh, questions. Good. Sure, Pastor. Thanks. Okay, super. Yeah, go for it, and uh, maybe once you yeah go through the options, then we. We'll, yeah, I okay. think success uh, was yeah. Thanks, John. Thanks. Success. You wanted to ask something. Um, you put your hand up. If not, I'll ask Zelitoli to share her question. Yeah, yeah go I, ahead. I, hello, sir. I, yeah. I, I, please help me check the table. I do some correction on the table on the topic. If it's okay that way, or I should change the topic. Um, okay, your entry is uh, the biblical examination of factors responsible for divisions in the churches, a case study of. Okay, Mina district. So you're going to do a case study. I mean, you're going to do a research on all churches in the Mina district. Success. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. You can just say a case study of churches in Mina district, or yeah, that's fine. This looks good. Go ahead, please. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not able to hear clearly. Whatever you said just now, we kind of missed that. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, uh, Zalitoli, you want to share your question? Eh? Let's yes. go through that. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So I guess you will have a section for their name, etc. Right. Um, okay. So, um, so Zelitori, this one, please describe your background before becoming a missionary in Cambodia. Okay. So that's a very, you know, it's a, it's a good question if you're doing an interview. Or you can follow up with other questions, but then um, if you if you're sending a questionnaire, um, what really do you want to know? Right, you want to know their education, their previous occupation, or what they were doing before becoming a missionary, right? So maybe you can you can word it differently. Um, okay, uh, then. What motivated you to pursue missionary work, particularly in Cambodia? Okay, how did you, how did your upbringing or personal faith journey of influence, uh, so faith journey influence your decision to engage in missionary activities? Okay, these are all descriptive, open-ended. Okay, uh, what specific training or preparation did you receive? Okay, so if you know of any training. You know, like let's say Bible college, or mission trips, or uh, language training. You know, you could mention that as a checklist in the questionnaire, so they could, you know, kind of tick or choose. So then you can, if you're having some, you know, fifteen questionnaires, you can say, okay, these are the mission. These are things that they went through. You know, they had language studies. So, so you can. It, it'll be easier for you to put together. Uh, compile it. Um, how does this training address the challenge of cross-cultural evangelism? So, so yeah, so things like that. Also, you know, 
what are some challenges of cross cultural evangelism so if you actually read through and find out so you can actually mention that you know did your training address this did you, yes no you know did your training address this yes or no you know maybe um, food wise yes or no you know uh, whatever other customs you know so those are some of the challenges of cross cultural evangelism right customs diet um, you know even the dress that you outfit that you wear etc so if you study a little bit about that then you can frame your questionnaire a little differently right uh, because if, if everything is I mean, it's fine uh, if everything you, if that's what you want uh, is how you want it to be everything is open ended it is fine but it's going to be a little difficult in putting that together right compiling together so but if you want to do it you can do that no problem um so you think about it what i said and you see um okay so preparation training evangelistic methods and strategies um okay then evangelistic strategy service based evangelism okay have you taken to understand and integrated to okay okay so all are open ended fine okay so no problem if you want to use that it's fine okay you you get my point no zelitoli you able to um like how many such uh, you know responses um are you expecting uh how many such questionnaires have you sent out and how many responses are you expecting okay. so far yeah i sent this to five missionaries and i'm waiting for the response so i, I think i need to again rewrite my question again and send out i'm sorry you need to yeah you need to get some more uh you know at least yeah 30 plus right to mm -hmm. actually form a conclusion so yeah so when you're putting together 30 you know questionnaires and you're actually forming um you know compiling it compiling the responses um tabulating it saying okay out of 30 uh 25 said this okay so you need to actually manually go through each and every response because they would have written us a, a probably a paragraph of it and then pull that information out and tabulate it you know that's the difficult that's the challenge of having open ended questions uh doesn't mean that it cannot be done you can but it it's going to be time consuming okay so i just want you to be aware of that okay okay so lia lama how do you know that research topic is approved okay so um okay so is, is your uh, topic number 10 dolma lama is the same as lia lama like teaching dolma lama yeah okay okay so um i see the, you know the misguided pursuit of financial success okay so it's going to be an academic study okay so how are you going to uh, what is your approach to this whole study to this research like how are you going to do it you haven't started yet yes so the misguided pursuit of financial success so um so it, it needs to be something so whatever you know conclusions that you're coming to you know this so you've already said that uh, uh, you know this whole pursuit it's it's not um, you know it's misguided which means that the pursuit of financial success is something that uh, you're saying it's you know it's it's not something it's just positive right something negative and um 
uh, and also you yeah, you've also mentioned in the description that uh, a deep understanding of financial areas characteristics uh, how to do it correctly effectively etc um yeah so um yeah uh, so i just want to understand from you like uh, even before you start off like what exactly how exactly do you plan to go about this research you must have had some thoughts some ideas um like i i understand that you haven't started the work yet but how do you propose how do you plan to do this financial areas characteristics okay books internet fine okay okay so uh, will this also you know it has to have a biblical base for it biblical understanding of it um you know so so you'll have to bring that out also bring that in sorry factor that in and it will be good if that is reflected in the in the scriptures i mean sorry in the uh, in the topic in the research topic right so yeah so you can go ahead you can go ahead and do that uh, you can have this topic that's fine but also you know the biblical base for it uh, if you can reword your topic your title to include that that will be good okay so uh, okay is there anyone else who has a question whether their topic is not approved or not um so we have about 14 people who have sent in and i think um i've approved everyone everyone's um it's just that some of you I've said, like Rebecca, Subhashish, you need to reword the topic, right? Um, and same for uh, Leah Lama also, you need to reword it. Um, yeah, yeah, I leave that to you. I give you that flexibility, Leah Lama. You know, so I leave that to you. Because it needs to have a biblical understanding of it. What is biblical perspective of it? What so which means that what does the Bible say about financial success? It's not against financial success, right? And also, I must say that uh, it should be different from whatever we have studied in the second semester, right? We have studied about financial stewardship. Um, so it has to be something different from that. If it's going to be a repetition of that, uh, then it won't be accepted, OK? If you're going to share the same content, um, then it it won't be accepted. So it has to be something different from that, right? Um, yeah. Um, informed consent. Okay, yeah, so that's fine. So John is um, you keep an informed consent mentioning how the data would be used. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, some something some confidentiality clause, right? Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, uh, how the data would be used. It would, I mean, before asking them the data, we can tell them that we, this is for a research purpose. Yeah, it's for a research purpose, and uh, yeah, you can you can mention that. And also, uh, anything that you want confidential, you don't have to ask them to reveal it. In the sense of, yeah, uh, they have the option to not to answer that as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Fine. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll stop here. That's all the time we have for today. So we'll just stop here, and uh, yeah, all the best. Right, thank you. God bless.